I think there's a certain amount of hustle that you see in, in, in uh, entrepreneurs, black entrepreneurs. Award-winning filmmaker Stanley Nelson and his partner Marcy Smith highlighted that hustle in their latest project. We feel very strongly that uh, people of color have to tell their own stories, um, that the, those stories are better when they're told from the inside. And that's, that's really why we exist. The film Boss, The Black Experience in Business, explores the history of African-American entrepreneurship by tracing it back to its roots. It does give us some context about where that entrepreneurial impulse comes from for African Americans and it comes straight out of the period of enslavement and straight out of the desire for freedom and independence. The film tells the stories of black businessmen and women who were prevented from chasing the American dream and instead set out to create a dream of their own. There's a, uh, a story about uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma and this area that they called uh, Black Wall Street that's just amazing. One thing that would probably strike us is the absolute variety of businesses. The numbers are astonishing. 30 restaurants, there were dry goods stores, milliners, uh, photography studio dental offices. I've never seen this footage before. Successful African Americans paid a heavy price to climb that corporate ladder. 32 times I heard no. Sharing the frustrations and the loneliness of corporate America when you're the only black woman or the only black man. Trailblazers like Ursula Burns shares her experience as the first African American female to head up a Fortune 500 company and the special type of mentorship it required. And Vernon Jordan took me under his wing. He was a reaffirming voice. I mean, this is a black man who speaks like a black man, who walks like a black man, who treats me like a black woman, who I literally had a reasonable, normal relationship with. You can just say black things to each other. And we hear from Rich Dennis, who went from street vendor to success story. Rich Dennis, who started out uh, selling uh, 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 cosmetic products on 125th Street on the street and, and, and became a, a millionaire doing that. We're just getting this started. Last year, Rich Dennis purchased Essence magazine. The decision around Essence was one that was very, very easy and very clear. If we don't control our narrative, and if we don't own our culture, then others will own it. Each of these CEOs have a similar outlook about success. One of the differences for African Americans in business was this idea that, you know, to do well, you have to also do good for your community. You do not have to lose who you are to be successful. You must first do good before you worry about doing well. The black business leaders at the heart of this film serve as a reminder for today's budding entrepreneurs that the sky is the limit. Of course, we know that, that, that prejudice and racism still exists, but you know, why not me? Why, why, why should I not be the person that succeeds in spite of that? Boss, the black experience in business airs tonight on PBS. We want you to stay tuned to the PIX11 Morning News. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to have so much more uh, about black businesses making a difference. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Looking yeah. forward to that. Good yeah. stuff.